This is Chuck Rapp with a word of encouragement for village church planters. Jesus lived in an agrarian culture. Palestine in the first century was a land of small farms with crops and animals. Many of his parables and teachings made reference to this environment. In my previous two messages, I shared how Christ is the vine and we are the branches. We must abide in him if we were to produce fruit. In John 10, 27, Jesus uses another agricultural analogy. We read, my sheep listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. In the Amplified Version, it states, the sheep that are my own hear and are listening to my voice. I find it interesting that Jesus makes a distinction between hearing and listening. As we abide in Christ, I would encourage us all to follow a simple five-step process. Those steps are to seek, listen, hear, obey, and then repeat. First, we seek the Lord in prayer through the study of his word and as we endeavor to walk in the Holy Spirit. Jeremiah 29 verses 12 and 13 tells us, Then you will call on me and come and pray to me, and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. We must seek the Lord with an intense intensity. Secondly, we listen. As we just read, Jesus or God listens to us when we pray. We must reciprocate and listen to him. We do this through the, his instruction in the scriptures and as we tune in to the voice of the Holy Spirit. We need to hear. On more than one occasion, my wife has told me, you listened to my words. You even repeated them to me. But did you hear my heart? I believe that's what the editors of the Amplified Bible had in mind when they made the distinction between listening and hearing. When Jesus said, my sheep listen to my voice, he was implying that the sheep recognize the voice of their shepherd. They are actively tuned in and awaiting his call. We need to do the same. I'll share more on this subject in my next message. We need to now obey. Having heard from the Lord, we need to obey, obey his instruction. The first half of James chapter 1, verse 22, once more in the Amplified Version, admonishes us. But prove yourselves doers of the word actively and continually obeying God's precepts, and not merely, merely listeners who hear the word but fail to internalize its meaning. And then we repeat, like an athlete in training, we must repeatedly ex execute this discipline. As we do so, we develop good spiritual habits, which tend to make the next cycle a bit easier. Seek, listen, hear, obey. Seek, listen, hear, and obey. This has been a word of encouragement for village church planters.